gonna tell you about how I got nice. Nice. What is screen? Let's see. I'm gonna show you how much fun it is to work with these people at night. I'm sitting here trying to make a video and they're setting off the fire alarm because I'm recording and I wanted to show you just how jerky they are about it so you can keep telling me that I'm imagining it or that it's not you know going happening on purpose. Welcome. I thought I'd tell you about how I got fish. Fish. Hi, Hulu. See they put it right over the swear word because they don't want me to swear. Isn't that funny? So you can look forward to that if you come live here, to people bleeping you while you're trying to talk to your friends at a cocktail party or having them over for dinner or whatever, or working for that matter. They support censorship here evidently. I mean, I still like the place. I don't know that people will stay very long acting this way, but let's see. Welcome. I thought I'd tell you about how I got fish. Fish. Hi, Hulu. Oh, this is Daisy Cakes, and I just wanted to show you what I have to go through with my Hulu. Because it's just fucking annoying me. since they keep leaving I've had to words. reset it six times now in the space of 20 minutes. This involves requesting an email, getting an email, and having it say that the password request has already expired. Obviously this wasn't Hulu itself that was being difficult. The stalkers also saved my CBC code as my, my password for Walmart, Amazon, and Google. Here I am. I've had to fill out seven. Okay, I'm trying to cover up my information and they keep putting it back in because the stalker is doing this in real time with me and emotionally, they must be very little. Like I said, I'm convinced that they get a child to stay up all night and just kind of hit switches and turn things on and off. But I'm not sure. They probably work for Game Stop gift. They probably work for GameStop gift cards and such. Perhaps they should worry about bleeping people's OnlyFans or covering them up with graphics and stuff. That should keep them plenty busy and they can then they can leave me alone. The stalkers also saved my CBC code as my, my password for... For Walmart, Amazon, and Google. I they want to get that expiration date in there, y'all. Just so important to them. I really don't know, like, how people like this are even created because I've never raised anyone like this, so I can't imagine it. I mean, seriously, I don't even see the sticker that they're trying to delete. They probably added that in there themselves. I've had to fill out 70. Wait, it's probably still there. They just go second by second and try to run past it so you don't catch it. You know, like children do. It's like streaking. I've had to fill out 75 different things. As soon as I completed fill... See? They try to stick that in there really fast. Really fast. And then they try to blame all this on the Hell's Angels, who probably aren't having any of this crap. Watch the editing tool on the bottom, you see? It's 
like malware. Very strange. Evidently, they want you to think that I'm them because they're trying to hide when I'm born. But I'm not upset about when I'm born. I just don't want to be specific about it. As soon as I completed filling out the things, I was able to log back into my Hulu and change my password and log, and log back in again. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for episodes of Daisy Cakes and Snowman Show to follow shortly. Okay, well, it's a little repetitive, but it should be okay. See? They get stuck on something. What are they stuck on?